Hello guys. So in the last video I showed you how to make the muffler uh, exhaust pipe but I didn't actually go over the nipple how I got the nipple on the generator so I just want to briefly uh, show you how I done that okay and since this is a new generator I'm gonna start from the scratch and I'm gonna install this on this generator pretty much uh, again so what I got here is these two nipples you can choose either one and this is pretty much I got this one from eBay and this this is what it is okay and uh, you can buy this one at the Home Depot which is pretty much the same, same diameter uh, but uh, it's not uh, brass and Home Depot doesn't carry the brass so I would like to stick with the brass because this will get rusty very soon um, and uh, I believe the brass will uh, be much better uh, looking and uh, probably much better functioning uh, over the years so what, do you, what we have is this nipple here and uh, this is the muffler okay I noticed that every Honda so far this is my third one but each and every one has this one off center a little bit towards the right so you have to be careful when you install this so you don't go too far to the right because then you, you're not going to be able to put, to put a cover on okay and as, as you can see that this opening here is pretty much about the same as this one or a little bit larger which is actually good you want to go larger than uh, smaller you don't want to choke it and what I'm gonna do uh, I could actually brace uh, this on uh, but I don't like that uh, nipple be sticking out so much it will be actually sticking out this much so I'm gonna cut it roughly in a half and uh, maybe even like a three-quarter down maybe roughly right here and then uh, I'm gonna make it fit and I'll show you how it fits and uh, you know then I'm gonna brace it on and show you the final product I'm not gonna bore you with uh, all the work around it because that's gonna that's gonna take uh, a lot of time but I will just go step by step okay so let's go cut it off right now so here I have the cut nipple no matter how hard I try I can never cut it straight with my hands of course <coughs> so anyway so this is the cut nipple and uh, this is how it's gonna look like when it's gonna go in and uh, I pretty much know this uh, this is uh, how it's gonna stick out which is uh, okay but I'm gonna have to keep it all the way to the left to make it fit and it's not going to be straight unless somehow yeah I guess this way will be better <coughs> yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna have to keep it all the way to the left as far as it goes otherwise I'm not gonna be able to screw in the pipe okay so uh, pretty much take it take this off is these four screws here you will take off the cover and then there is four screws for uh, for the muffler that will take off the muffler be careful because there is the screen the uh, spark arrester inside and uh, and the gasket okay so I'll get back to you so here I have the muffler out <coughs> it's pretty much just these uh, three screws okay they're kind of longer screws just <coughs> just regular screws and they are pretty tight I have to use actually impact wrench to take them out I don't want to break them so you know just want to let you know they are tight and here is uh, the spark arrestra okay that goes in like that 
that one is still pretty clean as it should be and if I'm gonna flip this here is gonna be the nipple okay and now, like I said I'm gonna keep it towards this side so Wow, my camera is getting a little bit foggy. Coming out of the cold basement, coming outside. So it will be hopefully into the middle of the hall on the cover. Uh, so I actually end up uh, grinding this weld off on one side for better fit of this nipple. Just to make it kind of straight when I push it towards one side okay now I'm gonna have to put it down again and just see how it fits and since I didn't make the cut straight it's actually a good idea to find a high point and a low point on this cut and since this is the low point I'm gonna get this you can see how off center is that uh, muffler and that was actually on each and every Honda I own so far uh, so this is the low point okay or the short point short point he here against the longer one on this side so I'm gonna get the short one and the grind it side because that's going to be always higher and it looks like uh, that's a pretty good center right here and it looks like it's going to end up being uh, pretty straight too so let's take it off again and let's go brace it on okay so here it is uh, braced on the muffler um, you know I think it's a pretty good job for uh, electrician Let's put it that way. Uh, it's gonna do it, do the work. No holes. You know. I know I didn't clean it, but I'm not gonna worry about it because this is just a muffler. Okay. And I'm gonna throw it in and see how it fits and uh, see how it works. And here is the final product. <coughs> that. Uh, Ripple is pretty well centered. It's a little bit uh, going down, but it's uh, it's kind of very hard to get it uh, get it exactly perfect. But uh, side to side is uh, pretty well positioned. Um, if you look at it like that, it looks uh, <laughs> not hundred percent straight, but pretty straight for my job okay um, and this is how it looks like uh, pretty much uh, on the generator from a couple different angles <coughs> not you know not a big deal if you don't want to use the muffler it's just a little nipple sticking out obviously you cannot remove it anymore unless you want to cut it but uh, I don't see that uh, this would be any aesthetic problem just in case I want to sell it as a matter of fact that I actually sold one with this nipple and there was not even question about it so let me screw it on and well by the way this will be the pipe and you know you can just take it uh, 20 feet this is just a 10 feet pipe but you can probably extend it up to 20 feet easy just to take the fumes from the house so let me screw it in and uh, let's see how it works okay Okay, that's pretty good. 
tighten it a little bit more. That's it. Nice and tight. Okay. This is just a temporary setup here. So, <clears throat> let's turn it on. A little choke. Maybe not even choke. Because I ran it before. Yeah. This is just making sound on a bucket. Otherwise. Okay. Quiet down a little bit. And the Honda is uh, pretty much ready. To take the mufflers all the way out from the house. Or from the garage or whatever. Um, whatever you want to take it. And I did... Hold on, let me shut this down. And I did actually tested this and I measured the temperature when the Honda was running uh, without the muffler. I took the temperature of the oil which was exactly the same when it was running with the muffler. So it's not like uh, the um, muffler is uh, making it work any harder or you know and, and I run it in the muffler already at my at my cabin for a whole day or for pretty much a whole weekend and I had no problems with it so anyway the temperature of the engine is the same so since uh, the muffler is about twice as big than the opening of the uh, original muffler I think there is a plenty of uh, room for the exhaust to get out okay I hope you enjoyed this video I try to make it uh, really brief and uh, educational as much as I could um, till next time